Good morning, everyone. So I'm excited because this is by far one of my favorite meals that we have in this amazing tin. Um, when Lori had suggested me doing Facebook Live, I was like, I have to do the pork tenderloin because it's pretty amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, how to make this. This is a two-step process. You will have to, if you forget things like me, you'll have to put your little timer in your kitchen on um, to remind yourself to do the sauce. But I probably will hop on this afternoon and do the sauce just so you can see what it looks like because it is so good, y'all. It is so good. And it's balsamic vinegar, um, balsamic glazed pork loin. And y'all, today is my birthday. And so I was like, this is better than any restaurant food. I'm just not going to lie. I would much rather cook on my birthday and get food that I like than go to a restaurant and then mess something up because I am super picky. So, oh, thank you, Caroline. Okay, so again, speaking of birthdays, this will make a great birthday present. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. This right here, this is the birthday present that everybody wants. Um, and well, every everyone that cooks wants. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna go ahead and start making it. So what this is, is I, since we have, I have my mom, my mom and my mother-in-law and my um, my two daughters are gonna be here, my daughter, oldest daughter's birthday, or oldest, daughter's boyfriend and my husband. So there's gonna be seven of us today for dinner. So what I did is I bought two pork tenderloins. I'm um, actually about the Simple Truth ones, but if you like Hormel, they're actually buy one get one free at Publix today. It ends either today or tomorrow, depending on your ad. So we're gonna get started. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in a half cup of water on the bottom. Um, I did not double the water recipe just because I just don't think I needed to. Um, okay, so that's in there and then the spices you're just going to put in a bowl and so i'm going to the this is so easy y'all i'm telling you and you have all of these things at home except for the pork tenderloin i am most positive so i use thyme and it says that okay so the recipe calls for two a tablespoon of a teaspoon of thyme i love spices so i'm going to be like putting a ton more in you can do whatever you want whatever you're fancy i'm just going to put in a lot y'all i'm not going to lie i love this stuff so I put in a little more, I'll probably, like, since I'm making two, I have to double it as well. Oh, why not? Um, okay, so I just put in a whole bunch, but if, you, if you're if you kind of conservative with your spices, just go ahead and just put in the, the teaspoon and that's fine. And then it calls for salt and pepper. I don't usually put salt and pepper on my recipes, but I do put garlic salt because you can't really go wrong with garlic salt, right? Oh, Shannon, thank you so much for sharing. Oh, Chris, thank you so much. Yeah, it totally is my birthday and, you know, might as well milk it. Um, okay, so the garlic salt, I'm not going to put a whole lot of garlic salt on just because I'm going to put real garlic. So I'm kind of going to mix those together. So it's time, and this is how easy it is, y'all. It's just this easy. You are going to be amazed, though, I'm telling you. This is better than any restaurant. I mean, I, I don't know of any, that's why I'd rather have this than go to a restaurant today for dinner. Um, usually, I, I usually don't cook on my birthday, but you know, this recipe, you just can't go wrong. Um, and like I said earlier, if you're looking, if there is somebody who you're just kind of like, man, I need to get them a birthday present. I just don't know what they get because they have everything. Well, they don't have the 10, so go, go ahead and get that for them. Um, okay, and then garlic, fresh garlic. Okay, the recipe calls for a clove of garlic, but y'all know how much I love me some garlic. So I'm probably gonna put in a little more than a um, teaspoon, but here's the kicker about this. My mom, I don't know how I spawned from her, but she does not like garlic. So I'm gonna put a little part with no garlic. So again, if you have picky eaters in your family, you can make recipes the way you want. And I'll show you how you do that. I'll show you how you can make it totally easy. Um, and if you, if you have non-garlic lovers or if you have non-spice lovers, I don't know who wouldn't like spices. I mean, come on. Um, I'm totally picky. I don't eat condiments, but I like me some spices. Okay, so I'm, like I said, I'm putting in a little more. As you can tell, you know, flu season's going around. You always need the garlic, as much garlic as you can. And I'll be honest, since I'm making two tenderloins, I probably, I may have to make more of this, but this is so easy to do that I don't mind doing it. Okay, so, and what you do is you have a little bit of water and you add it to the spices just to get them enough. Uh, it says a table a tablespoon of spices or water. I kind of just go, I don't, sorry, I had a phone call. I probably should have told everybody not to call me. Um, okay, so do you see how it has to be kind of wet enough? Wet enough to where, do you see that? Wet enough to where, but not too, you don't want it runny because you want it, um, 
just enough to where it's wet, where it's going to stay on the tenderloin, but you do not want it runny because then it'll fall off. Um, that's why you kind of have to judge. If you do the recipe, like it says, it probably will be fine. Um, okay, and because y'all know how much of a germaphobe I am, I'm going to put my little gloves on because I'm doing this on Facebook Live and I can't really wash my hands right away. Um, is there any, can you put the camera down just a little? I sure can. Sorry. Sorry, Elizabeth. Okay, so can you see that now? Is that better? Okay, so that's, that's all I did. I just put the garlic in and the spices. I thought I was doing good by doing it over here. And like I said, if this isn't enough spices, because these tenderloins are kind of long. So I don't know if y'all can see me, but I'm just kind of putting it on the tenderloin to where it's going to cook on it. And I would say do most of it in the middle because a lot of these tenderloins will shrink some. Um, this is all natural, so it may not shrink as much as the other one. It's not all natural, like no nitrates and all that jazz. Um, okay, and so, like I said, you'll if your tenderloins are a little longer than others, because most of them are like not as long, and they're like short. You know how some of them are mostly short and then plump? These are longer than um, most tenderloins. Cause I had to get big ones because we have so many people coming over. So because of that, I'm going to have to make more spices. So that's why I use my gloves. So now I can go back and not have to worry about my hands being really nasty, but I put some wipes right here because y'all know how much of a germaphobe I am. Um, and I'm going to wipe my hands down just in case. And then we're going to do a little more spices just because I like a lot of spice. Now I am going to leave a little with no garlic for my mom. So I'm gonna leave that part there because if you have non-garlic people. And so, is there any questions? Is this the boss time? It is, Carol, it's the boss. Um, yeah, yeah, Patty, my gloves are called Ziploc bags. Um, that's what they are, so not gonna lie. Okay, and then we'll kind of go through here. I am gonna do the te teaspoon, probably two teaspoons because I don't need much of that. That's a little wet, so it's staying. And then a little garlic salt just to give it and then a little bit of water and again you want to measure your water don't do your water right away because you want your water oh you know what I did okay yeah you don't want your water too much water so I think I have too much water there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my garlic in and then I'm going to put a little more spices you it's better to have too much spice than too little but the balsamic vinegar glaze is gonna really take a lot um, of the glaze is going to give you a lot of taste too. This is just going to give your meat like tender. It's going to make it t tender and everything. Oh y'all, but I'm telling you again, no restaurant is going to have this good of a meal. Um, and I don't mind, I don't mind cooking. So if you don't like cooking, then you probably don't want to cook on your birthday, but I don't mind. And I like my food. I'm not going to lie. Um, cause these tens, you know, they have such good recipes. Okay. So here I'm just kind of putting more on here. More is better in my eyes. First, okay, spices. Okay, I'm gonna give my mom a little garlic and not tell her. So don't tell her if you work with her and we're watching this. Not that you're wa we're watching this at work. Okay, so do you see how that's kind of spread out? That's what your tenderloins are gonna look like. And you're gonna cook this for about six hours, I would say. What does it say? Four to six hours on low. If you have a ninja, I would definitely say only cook four to six hours. Hour. So I'm not going to start this until 11 um, whenever I get home from lunch. So, and let's see here. I have a little more spices. I don't want to waste that. So I'll just go ahead and put that on there. And then you're going to cook. Like I said, you're going to cook this. You can do it like that too. Is there any other questions? And then I will probably hop on later to do the balsamic um, vinegar, balsamic glaze because it's just really good. Um, so Nancy, the ingredients are thyme. You can use sage if you like sage over thyme. That's totally fine. Salt and pepper if you choose. This again, it's versatile. You don't have to, you can make this recipe whatever you want it to. So you can use whatever spices. These are the best. Y'all have not, I've been making this for years and this is by far our family's favorite meal. One of them. Um, but we've always used thyme because I love thyme. I just love it. Um, and then fresh garlic. You can use garlic from the jar if you want. I just prefer fresh over fresh garlic because it's just so cheap and easy. Um, and then your glaze, you're going to have brown sugar, cornstarch, balsamic vinegar, 
water, and then soy sauce. So now I'm, and I'll hop back on about 4.30 central time and we're gonna make the glaze together and you're gonna see the finished product of this as well. I did have to double the recipe because I may, I'm making two, again, since we're having so many people over tonight for dinner. So, um, oh, thanks Carol. <laughs> do you have any deals on those measuring spoons? Oh, Kelly, we actually do. Nicole, I don't know if you're still on, but if you are, if you can share the um, spoon deal. If not, that's totally fine. Um, and you, I'll put it on in just a minute whenever I get hop on after I put this in the ninja and start cooking it. Okay, y'all, if there's any other questions, you can feel free to ask. I'll be on and off throughout the day. I am going to head to Target and get some of those great gift card deals. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, like I said. And I would love to know, what is your birthday tradition? Do you have any birthday traditions? Usually, my birth, our birthday traditions is definitely mo the moms come over and we um, have dinner together or something like that. So, um, I hope y'all have a great day. Again... If you are looking for a great gift idea for Christmas, this 10, they're not, they're on, they're not on back order anymore, so you can go ahead and order them. Order them now so before they sell out because, again, you're going to be stressing over at Christmas and be like, what do I get that person? And you could have already had it done, um, but we may sell out. So go ahead and order them. Um, oh, Jennifer, thank you. <laughs> oh, y'all, thank you so much. Um, so, again, if you have any questions, let us know. And I hope you all have a great day. Again, I'll hop back on at 4.30 Central Time and my little one can videotape, so it's going to be very easy because she's going to videotape while I cook. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes and everything. Y'all, thank you so much. Y'all are amazing. We have the best readers. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much.